Um, I'm here outside my local gym today, doing going to do my one out of two um, strength training sessions a week. Um, strength training is extremely important if you want to avoid getting injury, which is probably the number one goal of your training should be um, to stop avoiding injury. Um, I can tell you now, if you don't do strength training, sometime in your career, especially the older you are, you're going to get injured. Um, even if you do do strength training, you'll probably still get injured, but that frequency is going to be less and the chance of getting injured will be a lot less. So guys, make sure you do strength training and I'm going to explain to you in this video um, what exercises you can do. Um, you, can only, you only have to go two times a week, yeah? That's fine. The reason why I only go twice a week and not more is because I think twice is a good number to get your value for your money or value for your time you're putting in. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So we've got a graph here and on the x-axis we have the frequency of training every week. So either one, two, three or five, four or five. And then on the y-axis, we have our improvement level. So that can be based on strength, mass, just say improvements you get from strength training. So the most improvements you're gonna get is on the first session. So compared to zero sessions a week, and if you just do one session weekly, you're probably gonna get the most improvements. And then second session, you'll get less improvements. And then the graph kind of goes like this. It goes, and this is called the principle of diminishing returns. Obviously this graph is not scientifically evident, it's just what I think of it, but my opinion is twice is the sweet spot, especially if you're doing all this other stuff every week. Um, difference between two and three times, and because we're not going to be powerlifters, we're not going to be bodybuilders, it's not really going to matter too much. You might as well spend that other time doing a swim, a cycle, another run, or even something like yoga. So lifting two times a week, you're still going to get increased strength, you're still going to decrease the injury risk, and you're still going to increase mass only slightly because you're still doing all that other aerobic activity. But more research obviously needs to be done um, to compare two times a week to three times a week. So will strength training have a huge effect on reducing my running time, cycling time, swim times, and just get me faster? Probably not. Probably marginally, but probably not as much as if you actually put in the time that you did strength training into running or doing other things. But you have to think long term here. What it's going to do is reduce that one injury that's probably always going to happen if you don't do strength training. And that's where you get your money's worth. The most important exercise that I do, and I do every single session, are squats. If the whole nation did squats regularly as part of an exercise routine, physios wouldn't have a job. So I don't want to bore you with all this evidence supporting squats and how good that actually, actually I will, I will. So in this awesome paper published in the American College of Sports Medicine, it's called Prevention of Running Injuries. It is an amazing paper talking about all these things which contribute to running injuries. There's a part on it which talks about eccentric strength training um, and injury. So if you do squats properly and emphasize on the eccentric phase, you're going to decrease patellotendinopathy, decrease hamstring strains and decrease Achilles tendinopathy. These are the three most common running injuries. And how do, you, how do you eccentric strength train? Well, the first two can be done by squats and the last one, calf raises. So if you do squats and calf raises, you're already minimizing your risk by a lot. And this study here, I'll just get to the conclusion. This says that basically increased hip strength means decreased injury. Um, that's basically what it's saying but it's talking about female college athletes. But I'm pretty sure this will apply to everyone. 
And you know how I said before that um, strength training only marginally affects the times? Well, this study shows that increased max squat means increased sprint and increased vertical height. And who knows, that could win you a race in the closing meters of a triathlon, a 5K, or you know, getting into that breakaway in a cycling race. So, three things to take out of this video today. One, strength training will decrease your injury risk. Whether you're a runner, triathlete, or a soccer player, or a footy player, it's gonna decrease that risk. Two, uh, squats and calf raises, they are probably the two best exercises in reducing um, any running related injuries. And number three, uh, you don't have to train that much. Two times a week, four, two 45 se uh, minute sessions a week will do wonders. I, um, that's it for this video. This is actually my first video I'm making. Um, I am gonna make a part two. It's probably gonna talk about uh, specific exercises, specific programs and how many reps, how many sets, um, all that and more insight and maybe more evidence if you want. Let me know what you think of this video. I'm an absolute amateur at making videos and how am I gonna improve if people don't tell me what I'm doing bad, what am I doing wrong? I'm happy, I just wanna improve. I'm really passionate about this. So let me know what I can do to um, make you subscribe or make you continue watching my videos.